Magnolias are my favorite flowers. Hmm. Wait. Let me rephrase it. Magnolias are one of my favorite flowering trees. When I saw magnolias for the very first time, I was amazed by the big, creamy white flowers that have a sweet rose with lemon and slightly earthy musk undertone smell. That smell is so unique to me. I don't usually paint straight from the pictures that I took. Instead, I go over all of my pictures and pick the parts that I like. Then I rearrange them into my paintings. During the process. I spend more time thinking, picturing, and going through the painting steps. It's so slow that Papa has no patience to wait for me giving her attention. Papa always has to check on everything, just make sure they are good to go. This preparation for some people might be slow, but for me, it actually helps me set my mind into the creative zone. One of my weakness when it comes to painting is colors. I have to say that I don't have a strong sense of colors. That's why I take my time to try out different colors and carefully pick them for each painting. Having the exact colors in my mind is so essential. Sometimes. I had a good sketch and great ideas to paint, but using wrong colors could ruin my art. How about you? What is your weakness when it comes to art? The weather was so gorgeous when I took these pictures that I wanted to recreate the beautiful contrast between blue sky and pink magnolias. Also. In order to emphasize magnolias more, I decided to create bokeh effect background that helps the viewers focus on my main subjects. In photography. There are many types of bokeh effects, including onion bokeh, swirly bokeh, smooth bokeh, shaped bokeh, and more. I personally love smooth bokeh with soft and undefined edges that help me create a dreamy atmosphere for my painting. Thank、you
Some of you have asked how to create the same background as mine. I have decided a class of the complete guide on how to create watercolor bokeh effect background at Skillshare, where you can learn not only my techniques but also a bonus tip of how to fix the unperfect areas of your background. If you are interested in learning more about it, you can find the link in my description. By using my referral link, you can enjoy a 30 days free trial, and then decide if you want to subscribe the membership for either monthly or yearly. Right now. While paper is still damp, let's paint semi-abstract branches as middle ground to add depth to this painting. The weather in the Seattle area during spring is so unpredictable. It could be rainy and cloudy for a few days, and then suddenly sunny out. While waiting for masking fruit to dry, I decided to take a break and enjoy sunny afternoon outside, getting some fresh air and soaking myself in the sun. Usually recharges. My mind. Don't forget to take a break in between whatever you are doing. Now the masking fruit is completely dry. Let's remove it and start painting magnolias. I paint. Each petal of magnolias with at least three layers. The first layer is the base. The second layer is shadows or cast shadows. The last layer is about the details. I start with a very light color to create the form. It's better to start with lighter color. If it's not dark enough. You still have a chance to make it darker as the second layer. However, if you start with darker color than you expect, it's harder to get a brighter and a pure color. Please keep in mind that the outer side of magnolia's petals are darker than inside. Finally, I add the details such as the texture of each petal and cast shadows to create three-dimensional look.
the Magnolia genus consists of more than 200 individual species around the world, ranging from towering trees to large shrubs like the lily magnolia, which is my favorite. They bloom from early to late spring, and the flowering lasts about two to three weeks only. Lily magnolias are named after Pierre Magno, a French botanist in the 17th century. Just like its name, Lily magnolia has lily-shaped flowers that are purplish pink on the outer surface and white on the inside. Each flower has nine petals and each petal is like a dancing around. That's why I love them. They are so beautiful and bright that it's impossible for people not to notice them. What do you think? The pineapple-like structure is magnolia's pistols. Most other flowers bear just one pistol, but magnolias have several crammed into a cone-like body, which is another special feature of magnolias. Another interesting fact about magnolias is about their history. Magnolias are very old plants that are over 100 million years old. It even appeared before bees were around. That's why magnolias are pollinated by humble beetles instead of bees. Magnolias typically bloom shortly before the foliage appears. The leaves are dark green on the upper surface and the underside of the leaves are fuzzy. I really like how Lady Magnolias turn out just like a dancing flowers layer. I hope you enjoyed today's video including the painting process and the fun facts of Magnolias. If you do, please drop me a like, subscribe, and turn on notification. By the way, the flowers outside my window are fully blooming now. How beautiful. Until next time, happy painting!